I'm an addict for Snickers. What's good, it's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show, brand new podcast. Before I start, make sure to hit that like button right now if you like listening, and thank you for listening, and if you don't like listening, then why are you here? <laughs> Let's get into this podcast. Let's talk about upcoming releases. People want to know what are my thoughts on these releases. A lot of people keep asking me questions, the same questions over and over again, which I don't mind. Hey, that just means it's time for me to talk about it. So let's get into it. We're going to talk about upcoming releases and my thoughts on them. Phone Posit, Wheat Colorway, that's coming out this week. I first was kind of like, why not just wear a Timberland? Why would I want to wear a Phone Posit that is wrapped in a kind of like boot material, suede, with boot laces? Why not just wear a damn boot? But now that it's the fall... I kind of want to wear them. I don't know. I kind of want to wear them. So I'm up in the air on this release. It may happen. It may not. $250 is the retail. Kind of pricey. I may weigh it out. See if they hit the sales racks like every other phone posit does. But the black suede seemed to sell out pretty decently compared to some of the other releases. I mean, it didn't fly off the shelves. I know some cities still have them. But majority of spots, they are bye-bye. They are gone. So, this one, I think, will not go on sale. This upcoming phone posit. I think it's not going to sit on the shelves. It may for a week, but I think it'll go pretty quick. And it is kind of limited. I'm not saying it's super limited, but it's kind of limited. It's not at every retailer. So, if you're wanting this shoe, I suggest... Get it on the phone, pulling up your retailers that carry phone posits and see who got them today and get your ticket today. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of the spots, the last day to get tickets is on Tuesdays. They usually do Mondays and Tuesdays now at a lot of retailers. Some do Wednesdays also. So just get on the phone if you want them. Me, kind of on the fence still. We'll see. Next, I'm going to speak about the 4 Lab 1 Jordan Sneaker. This 4Lab1, I think, is just so ugly. I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me because I don't like something for some of you crazies out there that I get all upset that someone doesn't like what you like. There's nothing wrong with not liking the same thing as you like. They're just sneakers. Don't get offended, but I don't like them. I'd rather wear those Jordan 1 mids that came out that had the little bit of inspiration of the 4 versus this upcoming shoe that's way overpriced and just looks ugly to me. I don't think it was necessary to have all that going on on that shoe. Just not feeling it. Sorry. But I haven't been feeling the that whole lab series. It kind of, to me, got a little played out. Like, this, this is just not for me, though. This is not for me. It could be for you, though, and that's fine. Definitely not trying to convince you to not like a shoe. It's all about what you like. You're the one wearing them at the end of the day. But me, for people that are curious, not for me. Next, we'll talk about the Jordan, quote-unquote, Gray Toe 13. I'm not getting that shoe. To me, this is ridiculous that they did this. You know... Give us what we want, Jordan Brand. We want the Gray Toe 13. Don't make your own little version of the shoe now. Give us what we want. We're paying 170 for the shoe plus tax. You didn't have to make the whole tongue gray. I don't get it. Like, Jordan Brand, people that work there that are involved with, you know, choosing releases and whatnot, they can't be that stupid to not know that's what the consumer wants. Maybe it's some kind of strategy they're using. Who knows what it is, but I don't get it. To me, it was disappointing to see what is actually coming out versus what I thought was coming out, and that was the Gray Toe 13s. I'm probably just going to cop the old version. I'll probably look for it. I had a pair dead stock for a, just a steal, and I passed on it because I knew that they were retroing them this year. If I knew it was going to be like this, I would have picked up those. I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass. See, I would rather have a newer version of the shoe because I plan on wearing it and I want it to be as crispy as possible. I'm not planning on keeping it in my closet and collecting or else I probably would want the older version. 
some people will say, oh, well, the leather's better. This is better on the older version. But at the end of the day, sometimes when you buy an older sneaker, even if it's still DS, it still looks old. And I'd rather have the new model to rock and it look actually brand spanking new, you know? But with that show, I'm probably going to pass on it. We'll see when it comes closer to release day and I see them in person if I'm going to end up copping them or passing. But right now, I'm kind of just like, nah, man. That's just my opinion. You want it? There you go. Keep in mind, don't get offended if you like that. There's nothing wrong with liking it. Leave your comment in the box. Say, I like that Grey Toe 13. Hey, you may like it even better. But I think the whole thing that was so dope about the shoe was the way that the Grey Toe set off everything else. Like, it was just kind of, like, off. Like, you know, like, it just threw off the shoe a little bit in a good way. That's what I liked about the Grey Toe 13. Having the whole tongue like that kind of just you know defeats the purpose of what's hot about the shoe next we'll talk about the baron 13 that's what the nickname is because the colorway is basically like the baron 9 except this has this holographic material throughout it i gotta see this shoe in person because i want to see what this material looks like in person to me it kind of looks kind of cheap looking and i don't want that i think that jordans are way overpriced already and it has nothing to do with me being cheap. What it has to do is with me respecting my money that I earn. I would rather spend $200 on a LeBron shoe than these Jordans that are way overpriced. That aren't going to last long once you start wearing them. They start creasing. They start looking like crap after wears. At least with the LeBron. You could wear it daily and it still looks nice as long as you keep them clean. And if you don't keep them clean, all you got to do is wipe them down real quick with some good. And bang, they look fresh. You're spending $30, $40 more, but you're getting something that's going to last. And the technology is up to par with what's going on in 2014. And this whole remastering and the price raising to me is just ridiculous. It's really ridiculous in my opinion. They're charging more money for what they should be doing in the first place. For $170, we should be getting remastered. We should have been had the remastered at $160. When it was 160, when it went from 150 to 160, we should have been had that. And the quality of the shoes isn't any different. If you look at the Jordan 3 White Cement that released 2010, I'm pretty sure it was, somewhere around there. May have been 2011. And then you look at the Nike White Cement that released in 2013. The quality of those two shoes was basically the same. Now I understand that they upcharged the shoe because of having the Nike on the back. But let's say they didn't upcharge the shoe. It still was $20 more than it was back when it came out with, with the Jumpman on the back. It's still the same damn shoe. So why are you charging $20 more? The quality wasn't any better. Even though they said the quality was going to get better. They do this every year. They say this every year. We're going to upcharge and get better quality. But the quality is really not better. If you really compare products... From like 2010 to 2011, 2012, 2013, which I always do in a lot of my videos when I review shoes that have been resurfacing as far as new retros. I've been comparing them. They're always the same quality. It's always the same quality. If not, the older version is better than the newer one, but it's more money. I would rather pay for something that's a brand new model versus paying more money for a Jordan. But I have a funny feeling that in 2015, more Jordans are going to sit on the shelves with this whole remastering launch and shoes costing more money. People are going to stop buying Jordans as much. That's my prediction. Some people are going to say, hell no, you're crazy. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But uh, that's my opinion. I honestly think that people are going to stop buying as many Jordans next year. I mean, certain colorways, people are just going to be like, I don't care. I'm going to spend that money. But... A lot of the younger people, they're buying two, three shoes a year. Why are they going to buy Jordan? That's not going to last long. That's not going to stay fresh. That's not going to stay crispy. Once you start wearing them, they're going to get messed up. These remastered shoes with the nicer quality, the nicer the leather, the worse the creasing. Just so you know that also, for everyone that likes nice quality leathers, they crease even more than the bad quality leather. The bad quality leather creases less that nice quality leather and, and a lot of people always talk about quality and sneakers and some people really have no clue what the hell they're talking about like they don't even realize that people that are complaining about the quality of the shoes and then complaining about the creasing 
the shoe is going to crease more as the quality goes up. If the leather is a high quality leather, it's soft and it's going to crease like crazy. So just keep that in mind next year when you're buying all these retros that are even more money next year and supposedly better quality, they're going to crease on you more. So you may want to get one of them things to avoid the creasing as soon as you buy them. Leave your opinion on these shoes that I mentioned. Leave your opinions on what I think about just Jordan brand in general with the price hike that's going on again next year. Leave your thoughts. That's it for today's podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Share this Facebook, Twitter, Google+. And catch up on all the reviews. I have my Jordan vs. LeBron series. Make sure to check that out. I'll put a link in the description box below where you can check out that whole series. A playlist going through 1 to 11. I also will have a playlist to all my recent episodes. And I also did a podcast called Our Customs, The New Replicas. Definitely check out that podcast. It's really doing well. People are really enjoying it. So check that one out right now. I definitely think you should listen to that if you have some time on your hands. I'd love to hear your feedback on that podcast. Everyone be good out there. Make sure to check out my blog, thesneakeratic.com, for your sneaker news. Don't forget the blog because it's there to help you out. Friday, Saturday morning, 7.55 a.m. Make sure you're checking out that blog because I always put a lot of information on release info. And the Twitter, too, of course. The Sneak Addict. A lot of information is always on there, especially if I find out about restocks, anything like that. Make sure you're following the Sneak Addict over at twitter.com all right hope everyone's doing great out there and with that said we out 50s 20s hundreds hundreds 50s 20s hundreds hundreds 50s 20s hundreds hundreds 50s DJ Joe you know I love you love you make money money make money 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 if it ain't about that cake see your nephew where we ate about my business my business Stay the fuck about my business unless you got something for my plate. Keep winners in your circle at all times. But watch out for them snitches out there quick to drop or dime. If you don't get caught, then it really ain't a crime. Get pitched, keep your mouth shut at all times. Can't get with the program, get the fuck out the kitchen. Listen, we pay for chasing with tunnel vision. Delzy, DVIC, West Side Highway in the Maserati, knocking Lottie Dottie. We got your wavy off that model. Oh.